Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the next recipe in the Downton Abbey official cookbook. If you're new to my channel, I like to go through cookbooks recipe by recipe and try out each recipe and see how realistic, delicious, easy, difficult, all, all the aspects you want to know about a recipe before you make it. And I'm making these recipes for the first time with you. I've not made these before and I don't really know what to expect in the end, especially in a book like this where most of the food is literally foreign to me. But I'm having a really good time doing it. I hope you enjoy following along and I hope it inspires you to check out new recipes for yourself and try them out. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to comment and let me know. Today we're going to do the deviled biscuits. And at first, when I originally was thinking about biscuits, I was like, well, I live in the southern USA. I know a little bit about biscuits, but then I remembered that biscuits in the UK is a little bit something different. They're not the soft, fluffy bits of bread that we're used to here in the United States. They're like cookies, our version of cookies, but sometimes biscuits can be savory and not just sweet. Which I think, if you were to say you had a savory cookie, I don't think what would go through your head was that that sounds delicious. I think it's like, hmm, that's a little weird. But with the term biscuit, you can go either way with it and you could have it sweet or savory like this deviled biscuit. Now, you've heard of the term deviled before, I'm sure. The most popular way is deviled eggs. And it is the same type of flavor, that sour, paprika, dilly, mustardy flavor. But it's actually going to be on the biscuits. I'm interested to try this and it should be fun to check out. Let's make some deviled biscuits. Okay, we got to start real quick with making... Let me go ahead and start heating my milk just to save time. It says to heat that to about 100 degrees. Alright, the first ingredient is one and three fourths cups of flour. And one teaspoon of baking powder. The milk is more than done. In the meantime, I'm melting two tablespoons of unsalted butter in the milk. Off the burner. Let that melt as we finish the rest of this part. And one teaspoon of salt. Okay. Gonna quickly blend that together. Okay, we gotta wait for this butter to melt in the milk and then we add the milk and butter into the flour. Okay, it's all ready. Pour it in. It says to blend until a dough forms. And this is very easy. This is just your basic biscuit dough. There's not any seasoning or anything in this because all your seasoning is going to be in your doubling mixture, which will be after we bake these. Okay, we're going to knead it together until it's well mixed. If you need to add some flour on the bottom of the bowl just to get it to mix well, you can do that. It's very sticky. I'll tell you to use your hands though. Okay, so I need to take half the dough and flatten it. And it doesn't say to use a roller, just my hands. So we're just going to flatten it here. Just roll it in some flour on a floured surface. I said to about a quarter inch thick. This recipe says it's going to be like 50 biscuits, but. I am not seeing that happening. Alright, so I don't have a biscuit cutter. I'm going to use this jar lid. 
So it says about two inch biscuit cutter, so I think it's about the same size. It may not make as many biscuits as it's supposed to, but. Put them over here. Okay. Not trying to get in anyone's view for this, it's just part of the art of doing this on camera is trying to figure out how not to be in your own way. I think I just have to re-flatten what's left of that dough. Okay. Maybe these are too thick. I don't know. That's part of the trial and error, right? Trying to figure out if I'm doing this right. Yeah, I'm not doing this right. Because it says it's supposed to make 50 biscuits. And so far I have four out of half the dough. Here's the other half of the dough. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's all sticking to my hand. Eighth of an inch thick, so let's try to make it a little bit smaller. I still don't have a very small biscuit cutter, and that's probably the second thing I'm doing wrong. Actually, that looks just the same thickness as the first one, so I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. I don't really need 60 of them, anyways. If you really needed 60 of these, to impress 60 people and I suggest even though it doesn't say to I suggest rolling it out and I suggest usually using an actual biscuit cutter instead of a jar lid <laughs> makes a nice little poof sound whenever you cut it Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna make about 12 of these, which is way less than 50. So, we can already tell by that that I'm doing this really wrong. But, I said I'm not really going for quantity, I'm going for quality. So, hopefully, after we bake them and toss them in the doubling mixture, they'll still be delicious. And maybe then I'll be interested in sharing them and making them appropriately. Let's see if I can get two more out of here. I'll be satisfied with that. No, I have one more. Maybe. So 11. I couldn't even get a dozen out of this. <laughs> okay, so I had some technical difficulties. I had to switch out the battery. In the meantime, I have put 11 biscuits in the oven. The recipe says six minutes or until golden brown. So I've already done six minutes and I think it needs a little more time. And afterwards I'm gonna put them on the cooling rack and let them cool and then we'll get to the part where we double them. Okay, so I put them in another three after the original six minutes. And I think they're looking good. They were put in for 400 degrees and before I put them in I did pierce them with a fork several times. They're still a little puffy though. We're gonna put them on the wire rack and they need to cool completely before we do anything else with them. They do feel kind of soft. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be soft. They kind of have the feeling of pita bread. That's what my biscuits look at at the moment, look like. I'm gonna let them cool. Then we're gonna mix up the deviling mixture and try them out. See what we do next with them. Okay, now it's time for the deviling mixture. We're gonna start with one tablespoon of mustard. It's just regular yellow mustard. 
one tablespoon of that. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Let me know how it is you pronounce this. Just one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Sorry to block your view on it. It says two anchovy fillets and olive oil finely minced. And instead of doing that, I did just get a tube of anchovy paste. And I do believe it's going to work just fine. Another thing, it doesn't really tell me how much it is that equals two anchovies. So I'm going to eyeball it and say it's about a tablespoon since everything else was also. Actually, I'll do a teaspoon. A tablespoon and a half, a little bit more. Give us some good flavor. And two tablespoons of olive oil. And then one teaspoon of paprika. stir this all together. It's a very strange color. It's sort of turned to a brownish red color. There we go. There's the doubling mixture. Okay, now we're going to put it in a Ziploc bag. biscuits and put them in here. And just kind of, I'm going to close it so I'll make a mess. Toss them around in the mixture. Coat them. Make sure everything is totally coated with a mixture. pretty good okay so it says I can soak these for 10 minutes or up to one day okay so the last part of this is to pan fry these for about four minutes and in butter maybe three of them right now Need to fry them, turning them once or twice until lightly brown. It says it'll take about four minutes. Honestly, with all the olive oil on these biscuits, I'm not really sure what the butter is for in this pan because it seems like they could fry just fine by themselves without the butter. But I'm just doing what the recipe says. And that one's a little more brown. Okay, so let me get these up and plated, and then I'm going to start another three. And in the meantime, I'm going to try these. Okay, I'm ready to try my deviled biscuits. I'm going to eat it with a fork because they seem a little messy. If I'm wrong, I'll be happy to pick it up, and they're a little hot. But I'm interested in trying this one, so let's see how it goes. They have a neat little inside. It's kind of like a, kind of like a cookie. Or bread. Mmm. These are really good. I can see how these are a nice little part of a whole breakfast. This is definitely not breakfast. But if you put it with some scrambled eggs or with the kedgeri that we saw in another video, 
would go great together. And give this one a big thumbs up. Well, I hope you enjoyed going through the deviled biscuits recipe with me today. I look forward to making more recipes with you. I hope you don't forget to subscribe because i got more recipes coming up. You'll have a great day. Bye!